Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching the, my other videos about Intent Tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about how you can deploy apps by using the Intune console. So we'll see, uh, we're going to see it's like uh, some deep dive, how you can create a package, how you can deploy the package and uh, how you can test the logs file and the other things so let me start this uh, let me start this video so here is a folder I have uh, copied a one file this is like I can make it small so I keep the application here this is the notepad plus uh, plus that I'm going to deploy via the Intune so let's see how we can do this so before going to deploy this we need to create a Intune package first so let me show you how you can do the uh, how you can create the Intune package so this is the application developed by the Microsoft to create a Intune package and let me show you from where you can download this uh, this application so you have to go with this directory and uh, from here you can download it I will paste the link in the video description from there you can go and you can download this file okay so let me go back to the creating this package now you just double click and run it and here what you have go here go back and go to the folder this application we are going to deploy so first we'll create the package for this application now give the source file name and now it asking for the uh, app name so just now i given the folder name and now we are going to give the application name hey, come on Let me take the application name here and now the folder name again and now it asking do you want to specify the catalog folder okay yes and uh, here you can paste it again the catalog where the, your the package will uh, store so now uh, this application work very fastly and now our the uh, Intune win file is ready and that we are going to import into our Intune console. So let me go to the Intune. And now I am here under the apps and all apps. So our first part is done. We selected the application which we are going to deploy. Second thing, we'll create a package which we are going to use to add into our Intune console. And now what we have, uh, we can add this file into our Intune console. So here are a lot of uh, types of apps like a store app, Microsoft 365 app, Microsoft Ace, Microsoft Defender Endpoint for Mac and the other things. So here we are going to use a Windows app 32. Now select it and here you can take the package source file. So go to the path. Uh, I can show you this is what the application we created here. Uh, under this uh, installer and select this uh, package what we created just now so select it okay and here automatically take in the name of the application and which is which is required you need to fill the the detail so publisher i'm going to put it like a notepad only the version if you know the version you can put it here 10.8.1.1 and show, show this feature app into the uh, company portal if you want to show the feature in the company portal you can select yes and the rest of the things are like the information url privacy developer owner who create this so i can mention like a owner is myself and note if you want to put it any note or uh, you want to add any of the logo here for the image file for this application so you can do that now go the next and here is a program so how your application going to install on the end user machine so before deploying you need to test the application with the command line so i have created here the command line like this npp 8.1 installer this so first you should be the make sure what is the silent command line for to install your application so you can use that and the uninstallation command line so um, again the uninstallation command line you can take it uh, from the your uh, program folder or uh, uh, how your application going to uninstall uh, you can 
take the command line from the application now the install behavior how you want to deploy it like a user base or the system base so you can select it here and the device behavior so here is app install may force a restart or uh, determine the behavior based on the, um, the return code or no specific action a return force so i'm going to select it no specific ends action so i don't want to take any action after this app installed and here is a, like some custom code like a return code if it is zero then uh, it will be success if it is 1707 it is success and uh, uh, 310 3010 soft reboot 1641 is hard reboot so these are the options if you want to add anything so you can click here and you can add the error code if something is not standard with the application so you can use it any other um, any other Co error code also so if you want to print in your the logs file so i am leaving as it is now click on next and here is a operating system deployment so what type of operating system uh, you want to select like the 32 bit or only the 64 bit so you can uh, define here like uh, i want to deploy it only for the 64 bit so you can select your the architecture also so now here is a uh, minimum operating system required so if you select it like 1607 uh, it will take the value 1607 and all upper level operating system so in earlier in ssem we was manually we were selecting all the windows version but here is the option you can give the minimum version and automatically it will take all the higher versions now here is a disk requirement when when you are deploying your application how much disk space is required so let me give like a 200 mb anyway it's not required 200 just i'm giving the 200 the physical memory how much is required let me give the 100 and uh, the number of the processor i don't want to define the processor because i'm not sure the cpu I'm not sure so you can define this uh, application prerequisite based on your application these settings will be changed let us go with the next section so rules like the custom rule detection manually rule detection so if you have the custom rule you can define here or if if you have like a, any of the script you define the custom rule inside the script so you can import the script by clicking here but if you want to create it your your own self and the one good thing is it will support only the powershell or the other files also it will support but i will prefer to go with the powershell only but in our scenario we are going to take it manually uh, let me add the manually things okay so rule on the what basis like msi file or the registry what type of uh, 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 the detection you want to add so i can go with the file and uh, file path might be i have here so my file path is this and file or folder so here i can give the the my file name it is notepad plus plus exe and detection method so here is a uh, five types of detection method folder file or access date modified date created string mb so i'm going with this part and now let me explain you why we are doing this so this meaning is if this data is accessed on any of the machine this application won't be run so if it is not met with the policy with the detection rule then your application will installed so why why this setting is required because if it is already already application installed on that particular machine so in tune will not retry to install that so that is the all logic behind of this okay so let me go with this and now let me click on next so here is a dependency so dependency for the dependency uh, i will create a separate video how you can define your the dependency or the supersedence how you can do that so just for this in this video we are going to deploy just only the application we are not going to define the dependency or the super supersedence 
so for this i will be creating a separate video so now here is the assignment so like where you want to deploy this application so still we have not created group actually we supposed to create before starting this uh, this deployment but it's okay no problem we'll go and in tune again let me go here and let me create a group for this okay so now let me go here create a guru i'm going under the security and notepad deployment description asset description you can take the same almost it will be like assigned group owner i'm going to make it group owner advancing the members now here is a members you're gonna add it so let's select two devices which is these all to my the test machine and let me create this group now okay so our group also ready that name is notepad deployment and now come here on the intune console so in intune now here is a required available to enrolled and the uninstall if you want to install the app you can select it here or if you want to make it available you can select it here and if you want to uninstall the app so you can select it here but in our scenario we are going to deploy the app we are not going to uninstall so now click here on the add group and this window will open now you can select your the group what you created and now i think we are good and now let me click on next and you can uh, review the settings review and create if anything is missed out you can go back and you can modify that setting so now let me create it okay so now application created here and you can see in it everything is good in the locks and for the property uh, okay so now you can go with the app app is created and even it's deployed also or if you don't want to deploy it just you want to create the app uh, go to the app when you are creating it and don't select the assignment so that app will create and it won't be deployed to any of the machine okay so this app is created uh successfully now it is showing like assigned yes here so this application you can find out whether this application is deployed or not or the status and all so you can click here and you can check the status set well so if you seen this chart it's showing totally blank because these two machines what was the on our collection or the group that was not still synced up with our intune so from the intune perspective we done all those things and let me go to the in uh, the test machine and where we're gonna test it how it will deploy so let me go here and uh, let me open the logs file and all how we can verify this application installed or not so uh before opening the logs just i would like to recommend that you should copy the cm trash.exe on your machine to view the logs file so already i copied here now go and c drive program data microsoft and it is a microsoft management intune extension under the logs file you have to check the microsoft management extension so just open this logs and you will be finding like uh, what is going on for your deployments or the sync up or this logs will give you the a lot of information here so let's see do we have the latest log now this is like uh, 239 and we have now uh, 318 here okay so uh, this machine is still is not synced up and uh, let me go to the another machine if it is synced up yeah okay so this is what the my the another machine we can go in the same way in the logs 
program data software distribution sorry microsoft and then then in tune logs here and the management and now let me open this logs file on my the cm trash okay so now here this uh, this machine also not synced up so what i can do uh, let me open and show you how you can sync up your machine go to the setting go to the accounts go to the your accounts info and here you can do the sync up and let's wait how much time it will take for the sync up okay so let me go this log uh, on the test machine and uh, now what i can do for the sync up uh, you can go with this setting go with the account and here if you are not showing the option it's not a problem uh, you you have to change the setting or uh, or what you can do you can go with the or the company folder if you installed and from there in uh, under the setting you just click on the sync so your application will sync and you will get a pop-up like a uh, this application distribution notepad was installed successfully so let's see the something overview uh, in depth uh, let me open the logs file here and uh, how the logs file was working so now go to here and search the notepad so from here uh it it was started let me go something back okay so here it got the policy if if you check this word get the policy for this notepad and uh, you you can read it if if i can paste it on the notepad then we can understand it better now it is in the, under the notepad oh okay so notepad only installed let me go with the normally notepad format wrap up okay so this option is it's showing you when your uh, client machine got the policy is the available enforcement for this so this application is available um, um, this enforcement is available for to install this application so uh, here you can check the logs file whether the um, the machine got the policy or not then what it did we can just read out the logs and we can understand so path does not exit it's showing something like this path is not available what we have given under the detection it's not available that's why it's going to installed and then it is like showing the install install behavior regular uh, win32 app install 3 uninstallation command is this so these are the commands what we define into our the command line there when we was creating the application and this is a set directory this is our the command line which is going to trigger and uh, okay so this is what the command line which is going to use to install your app and then the set directory i am a so where your package got downloaded when when you was deploying it reached to your machine policy reached to your machine and where that package sits so let us go here under the c drive windows and and this is i am e so this is the cache file where you are the application copied here and from here it will trigger the installation but this is cache after the installation it will automatically it will 
delete that file so you cannot see in it or during the execution only you can see in it because it's a cache so now let me go here and uh, win 32 i think and it's a microsoft intune extension and here you can go to the content and here is the incoming so this is what the incoming file uh, so this file came from your SSEM it came here it got extracted it got installed and it was deleted from IME cache so that's how the uh, Intune works to install the any of the application okay so here you can check whether you are getting the files or not or if you want to check whether your file is getting download or during the download it got stuck or if it is download and it's failed to extract you can go to the uh, the windows file and here is a IME cache so you can validate it from here in terms of your uh, logs so you can go here uh, under the Intune management extension log and you can check out so this is what the, our set directory and uh, it shows like launch the application installer in the machine session it got launched and it did it process and finally it installed the application now let us go with the control panel and we'll see whether this application is uh, is available on the control panel or not so let me go here under the control panel and uh, here is like you can see in the notepad in install today 23rd let me click on date okay so this is what the application it got installed what we post and uh, you can use it from here I start just type it notepad so now finally our application got installed in our the uh, machine now let's talk about the the what about the reporting part so we can go with this in tune console and here uh, still it's showing like a zero and zero because it's not sync up let let me refresh this and uh, let me click here so still it's no update here even though our application was installed because client has not pushed the information uh, to this uh, in tune console so let us go again back and uh, let me open the company portal and I can do the sync up here so it will collect the data and it will send it to in tune console or it will upload the up, upload the data for this app installation status and then you can see in it the app installation status in your in tune console so that's how the application work and uh, if you face any issue you can just text me uh, so i can help you there to to understand how how these things are working okay guys so thank you for watching this video uh, see you soon in my the next video with the new topic